Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Advice. Today, what I want to cover is the Ford Bronco and when we should expect, give or take, an arrival date for the Ford Bronco Warthog. So with no further ado, let's jump right in at this Warthog, the high-flying beast that we've seen uh, in photo all covered up on the internet. Uh, we're going to try to figure out, give or take, when and why I believe when we'll get an arrival date of the Warthog. Now, this question's generated from one of the comments uh, that was left, uh, and you know, it's a, it was a really good comment. It was basically asking, you know, is it worth waiting for the Warthog? Uh, and the comment stated that, you know, if it is gonna arrive in 2022, uh, that uh, they may very well wait. Well, let's jump right in to that subject and really, you know, try to flush it out. First of all, whether the Warthog is worth waiting for. I've already covered somewhat in my previous videos and I'm gonna have a video coming up uh, that you know is gonna be called uh, Is the Bronco Warthog Wilder Than the Wild Track? And I'm gonna be covering the differences just between those two models. Uh, it'll be a shorter, quicker video and I'm really just gonna get straight to the point on you know whether it's worth getting a Warthog and that's really gonna boil down to what your personal needs are and what your wants are. But for the arrival date of the Warthog, so you know, before figuring whether we get, you know, a Bronco rate up or whether we wait, uh, we gotta know what type of weight should we expect. Now, first of all, I can say that Ford, when they unveil a vehicle, uh, it usually occurs at the spring show or at a fall show. Uh, the big automotive uh, manufacturers auto shows. Uh, normally you get the vehicle unless it's a prototype, but if it's a model, uh, like a specific model on an existing vehicle, normally we can expect, give or take, six months of wait. Now, the current Bronco uh, was unveiled back in July and we're supposed to get it in, you know, early, to at worst late winter. Now they've delayed that and you know we've all heard about uh, the reasons why. Uh, there's uh, production issues, uh, the factory is working fine, but it's all about getting those parts to the factory. So you know uh, third party suppliers are making it so it looks like so that we will not get uh, the 2021 Bronco until this summer. Production is currently slated to start in May which normally means you get your vehicle six to 10 weeks after it's produced. So the first vehicles ordered uh, should be arriving sometime in July. So, you know, I am gonna have a video that's gonna cover, you know, whether it's even possible to get a vehicle for that time frame. not necessarily July, but maybe August or September, you know, just generally I'm gonna cover whether it's possible possible to get still get a 2021 Bronco if you haven't reserved. Now, most of the information online would say that if you haven't reserved, forget about it. And even if you have reserved, only a third of the reservations will be built. I'm going to explain why, you know, I agree to the most part with that, uh, that they're not going to build all 200,000 reservations because uh, I doubt they're going to build 200,000 big Broncos, you know, the two door or the four door, because Ford has said that they're going to build 200,000 Broncos for all models. And that includes the Bronco Sport. And remember, the Bronco Sport started being delivered in December. So it's going to have, give or take, a seven month head start on the big Bronco. So I would say that probably two thirds of that 200,000 are going to be the the bronco sport now i'm going to cover that in full in another video but please keep in mind that all hope is not lost if you have not reserved uh there's still a chance that you might get a 2021 uh and i'm going to tell you how to go about that but for the warthog i'd expect that being that we have yet to hear of any plans to unveil this at a spring auto show i'd say that would mean that it would fall to 
sometime in fall. So if we do get the Warthog unveiled at this spring's auto show, uh, I would expect it as a 2022 model and get it sometime in the winter of 2022. Uh, but being that we haven't heard of it being unveiled, we have seen it on the road all covered up. We've seen it, you know, flying high, like the photos at the beginning of the video. Uh, you know, all that is to build hype, get a little bit of a tease to the market. But I'd expect that um, Ford, like Volks, Volkswagen's done for quite some time, uh, they tease models uh, and that's, you know, it's good for publicity, so sure, why not? Uh, but I would think that they're going to start talking about it more come summer, unveil it in fall, and that we're going to be getting it more mid-2022. So, you know, are they going to bring it out in the summer, the Warthog, as a 2022 model? Or will they just extend it a little bit longer and have it arrive and be available sometime between October or November of 2022 as a 2023 model? But I'd say that's our window. I'd say don't expect a Warthog before summer 2022. And I would think that's as early as uh, we're most likely going to get it. I'll be surprised if it's any sooner. And... Uh, and, and if it is, it's because, you know, we'll know this spring because they'll unveil the Warthog this spring. But, you know, we're just about to find out if they don't unveil it this spring, uh, I'd expect it as uh, summer 2022. Uh, and at that point, uh, to encourage sales so people don't, you know, get discouraged and say, well, you know what, you know, uh, 2022 is almost over. I want a 2023 model. I think they're just going to slate it and slide it in as a 20. 23 model, but available uh, mid fall. So either October or, you know, late fall in November. So there you have it. Bronco Warthog, uh, you know, two things to keep in mind if you're going to wait for it. One, it's going to be between 60 and 70,000 US. That's what I'm predicting. And I've covered why in other videos. And I'd expect it in October or November of 2022 unless we see it at this spring's auto show, which we'll know very soon because, you know, a couple weeks before the auto show, they'll say they're gonna unveil it. Now, if this has been helpful information, please hit the like button and subscribe because I've got a video coming out soon where I'm gonna go over, as, as I promised uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over when and how you could still get a 2021 Bronco. So for those that have reserved, I'll cover when you should get yours and why. And I'm also going to cover what you can still do, like myself. I haven't reserved yet. I've had way too much trouble picking through all the confusion of the various models. So I have that coming up. So please subscribe for more videos. I also want to thank uh, people who've been getting involved with the comments. Uh, I can't, you know, you have all the information on my own. So I really appreciate the questions. I also appreciate when people add pertinent information, uh, which I've been responding to. So thank you very much. And in my upcoming video, not only will I discuss dates, but if your order does get turned into a 2022, I'm going to cover what benefits you might get or you will get and gain from that. So stay tuned.